Hi, welcome back all of you. Now here and then we are into the final session of the training actually. We'll now go there and then have a look at it. <clears throat> so click on the share screen. No, it will not save this. In the next SSP actually. In the file. In the mission you see this is classroom records when click on OK. Go down. And then in the SSP4, right click on that. Rename it. 23. SSP underscore four. Okay, now. Now uh, We'll now go there and then log in. Okay. We'll now go and then log in. Right. This is a uh, Bombay employee who is having a higher power. Right. So the screen was stagnant for a longer time. So again, log in. So this guy is now logging in. Now he is going to do the punch out. And click on the home icon <clears throat> and then go to the procurement and then go to the shop. He's now going to go for a punch out actually. So the punch out has been configured with the XML gateway actually. He will not drop down. It won't be appearing anywhere here now. The punch out will not be appearing here, but it will be appearing on the shop by category. Drop it down. It will not appear over here. Amazon is good. So click on the Amazon. So it will be getting integrated to the song. You already tested it. So the link is established actually. And if you click on it, it will now take you to Amazon. And click on it. It will now take you to the Amazon website. The punch out, punch out URL will be coming up automatically. It will now come to the punch out URL. So here you can see this punch out group is what Oracle test account actually. So uh, Oracle has now uh, negotiated with Amazon for what happens, establishing this test account. On the test account, when you go and then shop and then convert into a PO, Amazon will not accept at all. It will not accept at all. It is only for testing purposes. The XML gateway has been established actually. Only for testing purposes. Actually. So you cannot place the purchase order against your whatever you shop over here. It is only for testing purposes actually. Got it? Now, what you're going to do is, first of all, you're going to identify what you want to buy. So it is the office supplies. I will not click on the furniture. I will not click on the furniture. Or I will not click on the storage, no, and all the furniture. Uh, okay, I will not choose something. I will not say uh, small computer desk. Computer desk is the one. I click on it. Computer desk, I, work. I want to buy it. So, first of all, you have to identify the UNPSC code. Right? On the computer desk, what happens? You go there. It is the computer desk. Fine. Lufiala, small computer desk. Fine. Go down. And then identify the US, UNSPSC code. Go down, go down, go down. UNSPSC code will be available now on the details, actually. <sighs> Uh, price, everything is not shown here. No. You go down. Where is it? Oh, God. So much of information is there. It will be available in the beginning itself. I'm going to go there. <clears throat> In the beginning itself, what happens if you click on the details somewhere? If I click on the details, click on the details. You click on the details. Ah, it's not coming at all. Even SPSC code. Where is it actually? It will be in the bottom actually. If you click on this, you click on it. And then go down. Again, you have to choose something or not. Is it modern computer? Each computer model script writing home office. You know? Ah, it's not available here. In the details of the product, you'll be having the UNSP code, UNSPSC code. A lot of description now coming up. Where are the details? There are comments by the employees. No, so many who purchased it actually. Oh, God. Not there. So let us not go there where you can see the UNSP. It's all there, but I don't know where to go on and see. I will not go to the IT supplies. No, thank you for IT supplies. 
uh, I will not choose what laptop or desktop. I'm not going to desktop. I'm going to desktop. Go ahead. I will not choose this desktop. Uh, the mini PC, pro mini PC is the one. Click on it. About this item, everything is coming. See more product details. You might click on the see more product details. Yeah, we got it. So USPSC code there. So this is basically a yeah, category. In our, in our system, the UNSP code is our category. So we have to map it to our category. Right? So this has to be mapped to our category. The first I will not take off. So we will not map it to our category. UNSPSC code has to be mapped to our category. Actually. So we had to ask Amazon all the products and then the UNSPSC code. Okay, we had to ask everything. They will not give you the list. And then that has to be mapped into our system. So we had to make a category mapping. No, go that way. So what you do is you will not go to the manage content zones. This is nothing but the sir, identification number, no? UNSPSC code is the identification number of Amazon, no? And then that will be mapped to our category actually. So you have to map it to our category. No, go that. So we had to perform a category mapping. And then before you perform the category mapping, what you do is you have to go and then install this. So go there. So click on it, fine. Go to this place. I will not I mean, go to the the same message, fine. Go to the fourth one. So we have a file called 64th file, fine. So this is again a older one now, fine. AADFDA is a older one. You install it, double click and then install it. And then once when you're logging in, if the version is old, it will automatically prompt you to install the latest version. Actually. One more version, latest version, it will not ask you to install. Even though it is new at the time, actually. Now it is old. So the 64th one on the additional locks records for you install it. And then afterwards, once when you launch the mapping, then again, if it is a, you know, whatever installed is old, and then you have to install a new one, it will not ask you to install it. Got it now, fine. So install the 64th. And then while you're doing the mapping, you have to install it also. Now, we will not go there and then perform the mapping. Right? Click on it. You will not go to what? Manage supplier content mapping set. We are going to map it. The Amazon's category, we are going to map it now. Fine. Click on it. No go on the So here Amazon is there. Right? So so many people you would have made a punch out actually. So we have Amazon now. Fine, click on it. Manage mapping set. Fine. Click on it. Manage maps. Then click on it. And then we can map a category or a supplier or a supply set or UM. No, we are now using a category. So click on edit. It will now download the categories. Click on it. It will be downloading the categories. So it's now it will now come over there. Nine one. So before starting it, what happens? You go and then close all the Excel sheets. All of the Excel sheets, please close. And nothing should be open. All of the Excel sheets, please close. Nothing is open. Right? So there's only blank is coming. Right? All of the Excel sheets. Now you open this area. So click on it. I'm going to open it up. Right? So the category, you click on it. Now download it. Now fine. click on it. I'm not going to open it up. We are opening it up. And then here, enable the editing. So once when you enable the editing, it will ask you to connect to our system. Right? Oracle system, it will ask you. Fine. Click on anybody. It will ask you to connect to our Oracle. So do you want to connect to this? And then before this, what happens? It may even ask you to install the latest ADFDA. If you if it prompts, you install it. Then again, open it up. Fine. So I have already installed it, so it's not asking. Fine, click on this. It may ask the latest one for that. So I will not put what is the P20 fine. three underscore EMP3. He's the cat admin actually. Fine. And then give the password. So the system gets connected to the cat admin now. Cat admin is logging. Fine, click on that. I don't know. It'll be getting connected. And then it you see the new version of Oracle ADF is now there. Now it is available. So click on install. Fine. Or otherwise, what happens? I will not. I already installed it, so I will not skip you. Fine. If it is, if you are not installed it, what happens? You had installed it. Since I've already installed, I'm not skipping it now. Fine. Click on skip. I've already installed it. I'm skipping it actually. So once when it is done, what happens? It will be, then again you have to open up and then do it. Fine. Everything. <clears throat> I've already installed. So now what happens? The UNSPSC code is an external category which has to be mapped to our internal category. I'll go there, click on it. Now have a look at that. Where is our Amazon? So go there. It's a 4321516. Fine. 4321516. The one fine. Go there. You know, go down and then see this one. 432. Go down. 432. The one will not drag it. 432. So go there. 432. Four three two one one na and four three two uh one one uh what is the number now and four three two one one five one six no four three two one one five one six no and what the four three two one one five one six 
oh god it's not having any entry at all not <laughs> there uh, it is not there na in that case what happens we had to insert a again you know go there so 4321156 dot the fine select it and then no insert a record uh insert a record insert is not possible right click and then insert no fine insert so i will not insert it fine Four three two one one five one six is in it. Am I correct? No, go on and make a check. Four three two one one five one six is in it. So here, what happens? I will now map it to my desktop. Click on it and double click on it. It will now bring in now. <clears throat> I'm going to map it to my desktop. I'll now map it to my desktop. So go there. The category name is what? P twenty. And then click on search. So if the entry is not there, we have to make it. Initially, what happens? You will have nothing actually. When you are mapping it to your supplier, there will be nothing. You have to make each and everything. Select it. I'm going to take on a laborious job. So now, 4321156 is now mapped to our desktop. Let us now upload it, actually. You know, going to upload it. And go to the home now. Right? The insert is not done now. And go there. So go to the home and then let us now upload it. Where is the one now? I have to give a save now. I have to save. I have now saved it. And then what happens? Go to the manage map and then upload. So we have inserted a new one. You go to the manage map in the top and then upload it. And click on upload. You know, go to upload it. So you have to install the latest one which is prompting for. I already installed. I'm not installing it. You have to install it. And click on. After 64, what happens? You have to install it again and then close everything and then again re login actually. Since I have done it one. So row inserted successfully. So when I shop this product, what happens? It will be landing up on my system as a what? P20 desktop category actually. Anybody can say yes to me? Hello. Yes, Clear, na? Yes, sir. Fine. Remember, when you have, you will have nothing at all. When you're going to show whatever, do a, what happens a, uh, with the supplier one, the mapping set will have no entry at all. You only have to make all the entries actually. It's a very laborious job. It's a big laborious job. I will not go there. I will not go there. I will not shop this product. I'm not going to shop this product. I will go there. Okay. I will not go there. Click on it. I will not shop it. I will go there. I will go there. Add to cart. So click on add to cart. I am now adding it. So now it will be submitted for approval internally now. Fine. And then we have already set up the approval automatic. And so whatever they will get approval automatic. Submit these items for approval. Fine. Click on it. It is a mini desktop. Mm -hmm. It is a pro mini PC now. Fine. <clears throat> pro mini PC. Fine. Click on submit for approval. Now it will be submitted to our system for whatever they go there. It is again asking for submit for these items for approval. Fine. Click on it. I will not click on it. $169. Fine. Click on it. Now what happens? It will be submitted for approval actually. Sending the card to your procurement system for approval. And then it will now create a purchase requisition actually. The approval is in the Amazon side. Now what happens? It will now come back to our system and then we have to again approve it. That approval is from the Amazon side. Now it has now created what happens? The Pro Mini PC with our catalog category. So what I will do is I will not take a copy of the I will not go to the word notepad now. <clears throat> notepad. Now open up notepad now. And then I will now put that what happens with your Amazon. Amazon number is what? 204294. Do you know how laborious job it is now? Right? With every supplier, if every supplier is having thousand numbers, you have to make an entry in the mapping actually. <laughs> Even though it's a one-time job. What happens? You always have what happens your freshers available. You if you are Buddha at Milo, bite ki karta se kaya ki badi mushkil ho jayegi. So give it to the freshers. They will now keep on entering all these things. Every entry they will now make. They, you will not go via shopping and then doing it. You will be getting a list of values from the supplier actually. UNSPSC code. They will now give all the items and then UNSP code they will now give. So you take only that UNSP code and then you see the item and then map it to the appropriate category in our mapping actually. Clear? It's a very big job. So Amazon PR actually. Amazon PR. Amazon PR. So now what I'm going to do is before I submit it, I will now enable the uh, what happens uh, the what happens the thing. Right? So once again, now I, this is not having any BPA at all. This is not having a BPA. So what happens? I will now go to the what manage approvals and see whether it is not automatic or not. Fine. I will now have a look at it, whether it is not automatic or not. <clears throat> and then here in the bottom, what happens? You can now see that employees expense code is coming six zero five zero zero. And then oh, no, no. so it is not coming. Fine. We had to set the cost. So give a back. So here, employee's expense code is coming. The employee's expense code is coming. You go there and then have a look at the Click on it. You know, go there. So uh, I will now close this file now. Fine. Click on close the file. It's already loaded up. Fine. 
uh, now save road save is okay fine we have activities completed actually <clears throat> go there and then we'll now see the ssp flow now fine open the ssp flow open the ssp flow here what happens this is the code now let us say he is a lawyer actually who is sitting in bombay he says that what happens i'm not going to buy a law book fine it is his expense code but he is saying the law book is for the legal department and not for me actually so do not book the expense against my name and so what happens what he will say he will not override it actually not drop down you know override it okay so you know say that this is only one account is coming because employee has got only one so but i don't know how to override it fine and then the only one account is available actually the employee's account is coming as a charge account but this is very much editable but uh, talk to the financials about how to make a change actually so this book is for what happens my legal department and not against it should not be booked against my expense actually if i'm buying a laptop or a suitcase or a, a tie or something like that then what happens it's okay you can very well account against my number against my but this is for the department so you can have the overriding capability also but how to override somebody make an rnd on this so go there now this uh, approval is not set properly so we'll not go on and set up the approvals actually you we'll know go there we'll not set up the approvals go there go on. so click on again okay, i will not right click and then duplicate we will not set up the approvals for this now go there and then set up the approvals. Enter. Enter. So you're going to set up the approvals. So manage requisition approval is the one which you're going to set up. So click on it. You now go to the manage requisition approvals. Go to the setup and maintenance. And then we'll not set up the manage approval, requisition approvals. Is it all clear? Anybody can say yes to me? The shopping is not done now. Yes, sir. Requisition approvals. So go to the manage requisition approvals and then we'll now set up the approvals automatically. So here something is available. Fine, let me disable it. I will now go to the header hierarchy and then enable it. Now click on it. Create. I'm now set the rule always. This one is now coming up. Fine, requisitioning BU. Fine, go So we are now made this thing. Now fine, this is only for the internal transfers. Now fine, this is not enabled. Now fine, now enable. This is only for the internal transfers. We have made test. Now fine, then go. I will now go to this place. I will now enable it. Now enable this rule. Rule always up is enabled. So automatic approval is there. So this rule is only for internal requisition. This is for normal requisition actually. So click on save and then deploy. So I have already demonstrated this now. And this is why I already demonstrated the internal requisition. <coughs> so click on it. Now deployment is also required. Now this rule is applicable. Now it will not show what as what VS the approval. Now go to this place. So click on the manage approvals. So 204294 will be what happens available for us to approve. So again, it's not coming now. If I click on back, no. It takes some time actually. Because nothing is coming here now. So click on save. <clears throat> and then click on the manage approvals again. Oh, we have done or once one more mistake we are not. So header hierarchy three is not enabled actually. So we had to enable this. This rule has to be enabled. Inside also it is enabled now. So click on done and then come out of it. Now we go there and then click on back and then again we go for this. That is why nothing is coming. I click on the manage approvals. Now, what happens? It will not say that this guy has to approve now. Oh God, it's still not coming. Ah. So click on save now. The change is not at sensed actually. So click on manage approvals. It has to say application developer has to approve now. Manage requisition approvals will go there. And again, have a look at no point. Click on this is the header hierarchy series and enable it. Click on the edit rules. So, rule always applies is there. There is no condition at all. Automatic upload is always there. No, point. ah, everything is there in place actually. So, what I will do is I will now give it back, and then if it's not coming, I will now log out and log in. And then do it 204 to 84 is the one. Point. Click on save and then click on the manage approvals. Now see whether application developer has to approve is coming or not. It's not taking a long time. That means what? It is now sensing the new approvals actually. Previously, we are showing in our So 204294 is now done much. And you can see it is a Bombay residence, delivery to be the Bombay residence actually. So the self-service procurement, what happens in So application developer is coming, fine, click on submit. It has to be delivered in the Bombay residence actually. So the requester has, uh, what happens, they've done it via this now, 204 Now what happens, we'll now go there. We will now go to our system and then the purchase officer will now convert this requisition to a purchase order. No pending approval, fine, we'll 
I will not show receipt only. It will not show how much has been coming in the system and what else. Like that. So B bill number is what? This is the one. The packing slip number is this one. No, add value addition, bank click on submit. Which what happens? So this must be a direct delivery now. If you go to the purchase requisition and then you know what happens? If you go there and then click on it, this must be a direct delivery. If it is a standard delivery, we he cannot receive it all. It will be a direct delivery. If you go there, click on it, and then if you go to the schedules, then click on the schedules, and then click on the details now. Why? It will be a direct delivery. If you go to the schedules, in the schedules, what about the uh, you know, status is open now, and how to see it actually? Yeah. I'm able to see it. Schedules, it must be editable. Uh, there, there, there will be an icon there to have view of it now. Oh, God, it's not there. So, if you go on and see on the main one, it will be coming. Nowhere I'm able to see now. So, it will be there. So, if it is a standard delivery, I cannot receive. And click on submit by which what happens, the receipt is complete. It becomes eligible for payment actually. You create the following reception. Receipt is not created. So on the right hand side, what happens? You can even go on and have a look at it. Click on it. You will not go click on it. You will not have what manage the receipts. 4001 is the receipt. Fine, go that click on it. You will not put the 4000 receipt, receipt number. Fine, go that click on it. And then if you say the laptop is defective, you can very well return it back also. You will not select it and then can receive it. And then if the quantity is not correct, let's say 10 years ordered, only 9 has come, you can even correct it also. You can perform a return corrections and then receipts. So these are the three activities which the self service procurement requester can do. Receive, return, and correct are the only three activities they can do. Anybody can say the return option will become it will be treated as a RTB, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is it will be considered as an RTB only. If he is returning it, it will be considered as only RTB. Return to supplier action. So from his residence, he is now sending it to Amazon's work in Noida. That is it. <clears throat> So now the whole Amazon punch out is now complete. Got it now? We'll go for the next one. Next one is what desktop. Right? So Amazon, we are completed it. Right? Amazon's the PR has now got automatically converted into PO. The PO to PO conversion is automatic actually. Right? Not a, go so go there. So whenever you're going by a punch outs, what happens? It is not a manual one, it is always automatic actually. Now what I do is I will not go there. I will not, what happens, go there, in this place, what happens, go there. And then I will not go to configure requisitioning business function. Configure, what happens, I will not go to the setup. Configure procurement business function. I'll go to the setup and go there. I will not go to the configure procurement business function. I will go to the setup and maintenance. I will not go to this place. I will not go to the setup and maintenance. <clears throat> and then I will not click on it. I will not go to the search. No. Click on search. I will not go to the configure procurement business function. Go to this place. Now I will not change the buyer actually. Drop it down. Okay. Here's one. Okay. So I will not change it to my buyer. EMP3, comma, last name, comma, first name. Go there. Go there. The EMP3, comma, P20. If you keep on writing it, it will be coming. P20 is zero. P23 and yours. P23 underscore fine. This is the buyer. So he becomes the purchase officer for all our things. I click on the purchase officer. I click on save and close. So now he is the buyer actually. Now we will now go on and look at the item. I click on first item. Desktop is the one. I click on it. We will now go to the place. I go to the favorites now. I click on it. Oh, we have not added anything at all. So the reason one, I will now go to the manage. Uh, nothing is there actually. <clears throat> so the EMP3 is not in it. I click on it. We will now go to the item and then have a look at it. So go to the what's called. Uh, we will now go on and have a look at our product management. Go there. We'll now go to the product management. Oh, this guy is not having any inventory at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's there. Mm -hmm. You go to the product management and then you go to the product information management. Let me query my item. P2001 uh, is the item. We'll now query it and then see the receipt routing. So we are given wantedly standard receipt routing. And go to the browse items and then query your item. So P20, fine. Zero, one of the one, fine. Make a search. You're all understanding now, fine. Everybody can see. Somebody say, yes, me. Is it all clear for you? Hello? Nobody is answering. <laughs> Everybody... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. So go there. Go to the specifications and then go to the spec... You're not interacting with them. Say what happens. I'll not go to the purchasing. I will not see that what happens. The receipt is what standard receipt routing. 
So result loading is standard. So this cannot be received by the Bombay man at all in the residence. Right? Result loading must be direct. So standard and inspection is not applicable for SSP at all. Now, even though on the result routing, we are given a what happens is direct. We we'll that moment. We'll not have a look at the result routing. So click on cancel on. Item is having a standard. We'll not have a look at the result loading. Now go to the place and click on down. We'll not go on and have a look at this. Click on setup and have a we'll look at the manage receiving parameter. So click on it. Now go to the place and click on search now. And then go to what manage receiving parameter. So we'll now have a look at the manage receiving parameters. Here we are given a direct. This is a low level entry, actually. If you go to 0, 0, 0, it is a low level entry. Item is a top level entry. Items receipt routing will now override this direct. Right. Items, no, no, no purchase order will be having a standard receipt routing. Right. Now, we'll now go and try to shop it. Right. To go there. Right. And then here, what happens if you go there? I will now go to the manage configure right. uh, requisitioning business function. Configure requisitioning business function. So the item must be available on this org. Here's one. Go there. Item must be available on the default delivery to org. Item must be available. So let us now make a change to Seattle. Seattle. I'm going to make a change. And then give a save and close. Seattle is the one. Here is the one. Click on OK. And then save it. Now, the self-service procurator cannot what happens, buy it. Why? Anybody can say why? Why he cannot buy it? Anybody? <clears throat> you cannot buy this at all. The desktop cannot be purchased at all. Really. Why? Because item is now created in the master. It is not assigned to any child at all. Got it now? Man? What is it? So close it up. Now go back to the I will know what happens. Give it done and then come all of it. He is now going to shop for the desktop. Click on it. Let him shop on the desktop. I will now go to the shop by category or anywhere you can go. No, you, want it. No. you go to this place, man. I will now go for the desktop. He will not go to the desktop. He wants to have two desktop. And then he add to cart, he cannot add it because item is not available on the default delivery to all. And click on add to cart. It will not throw an error. Actually. Item is invalid, UM is invalid, blah, blah, blah. Technical team has now picked up certain errors and then populated it. It's not actual error, actually. They don't know what to populate. So they have now picked up some, some, some error and then did it. So item must be available on the default delivery to all. Then only we can shop now. Clear? They're unable to shop. So it will not go there and then change it now. Thank you. It. No go there. I will not change it all. That is why what happens, we normally keep it in master org only. <clears throat> because master org is the one which is required. So accounting will be done on master, and then that is acceptable. But people are saying different, different things. I don't know. Yeah, they are now making the item org and doing it. Item org will never come over it at all. Only it must be an inventory org, actually. So that part you take care of. <clears throat> You cannot even give the receiving parameter for the item R. Right? Receiving parameter is also must not. Right? Operations and then give it. Now we can very well shop. You go there, click on it. Will not click on it. Add to cart, it will not come. Click on it. Two items. Sorry. Now we have a BP also over. Not coming. I will not give it done and then come out of it. So click on down. And then I will not log out and log in. And do it. Sometimes all of them they have to log out and log in and do it. So click on confirm and then log in now. So logging in now, can to go there. So you will not go to the procurement and then you will not go to the shop. You can't click on shop, you will not go to shop. So go to the computer direct, you will not go on the shop for the desktop. You can click on the desktop, you will not go to shop. You will not say three quantity, three desktop, you want it, right click on add to cart, it will not get coolly added. It is not added to cart. Okay, man. We will know what I was, go there and then click on it and then click on the review. Click on the review. So everything is coming fine, go there. They're all coming fine. Everything is there. It has to be delivered in this place, man. The account is coming. Note to supplier also will be coming. Fine. You can even say uh, one note we can uh, you know, say uh, uh, put the warranty card in the pack. You know, the warranty card has to be put in the pack. Fine. Something already you know, put the warranty card in the pack. So you're not putting some notes, no fine, go there. So click on it and then we'll know what happens. The manager approvals, it must be automatic actually. I hope that nobody has made a change now. So 204297. 204297. So go there. What desktop? What 204297. And then we have a BPA also available. Go there, click on it. Now find a BPA also available. 
So there is a BPA here. So this PR to PO automation is now automatic actually. And then only thing is what the buyer must be available on your this. So okay, not. So once upon submitting it, the PR will now get converted into PO automatically. And the punch outs also is coming. And here we have a BPA. So based upon the BPA, it will be getting converted. So we have to wait for some time. Now thank you wait. For the pending approval. Click on it. And then if you click on it, what does it? One will that the I icon will be coming for converting the PR into PO. Somebody can say yes to me that you understood. Yes, sir. Click on back. So the I icon will be coming upon approval actually. So is the application developer has now approved. The task is also getting completed. Fine. Everything is done. Fine. Click on the now fine. Now we'll now see an approval. It will be is approved now. Now, what happens? An IE icon will be coming. Fine, click on now, fine. Because the BPA is there. The BPA will now automate the PR into PO. Previously, the punch out is also automatic. Fine, punch out. We don't have any BPA, but here we have a BPA. So the system will be automatically converting this into here. Purchase order. Fine, see, an IE icon. So the buyer has now taken it for processing. The line is being processed by it. So after some time, whatever the PO will be getting created, actually. The PO will be getting created. So the order will be coming. So the order is having a standard receipt routing, and so what happens? It will not work at all. The self service procurement requester cannot what happens? Receive it at all. Now, if you click on the order, click on the order. It will not go there. Right click on that. It will not try to what happens? Query it. Now, duplicate it. Duplicate the tab. Don't duplicate it. So go to the place. I will not go to the my receipt. So the requisition number is what? It is a 204 2979. Requisition is what? 204297 is the one fine go there. And then if you query for it, what happens? It won't be available him for him for receipt at all because it must be a direct receipt route. So search for it. So we will not change it to what direct. So who has who can change it? Whether the uh, Bombay man can change it or not. Anybody? Can you change the receipt routing direct? He's sitting in Bombay residence. Can he change the receipt routing to direct? Anybody? Oh God. No, sir. No, why? He does not have that uh, role. Just, yeah, he is not a purchase officer. He is a marketing manager, actually. So he cannot do it. So the purchase officer only has to do it. Now. Thank you. So go there, click on it. We'll now go to the purchase officer department. Thank you. Click on it. We'll now go there. Click on it. We'll now go there. I will now go to this place. I will now go to the procurement. Now, fine. Go to the procurement. And the purchase officer is going to say, only the purchase officer can change it. The marketing man cannot go there. Come on, you will not go to the procurement and then you go to the purchase orders. You will not go to the manager orders and then make a change. Then click on it. You will not go to the manager orders. You go to the manager orders and then 204297 is the requisition number. The requisition number is what? 204297 is the one. And give a search. You want to search for it. The buyer is okay, man. It's okay. So this is the buyer who has now made it actually. We will select it and then go there. We are going to edit it now. Fine. Go to actions and then go to edit. Once when you edit, the change order will be created. The system will be creating an error. No, it will not create a change order. Fine. Click on it. And then write a meaningful what happens, a description on the change order. Fine. Why you are now editing it actually? So the next revision or the what happens, the change order one will be getting created actually. For that, I will now say change of what happens, the receipt routing. So that you can understand about why you are doing it actually. And then go there, go to the schedules. You go to the schedules, and then here, what happens? You go there, and then here, what happens? You go there, click on it, and then you know, change it to what? Direct action. From the item is the top priority, and so it is now default on the item actually, and then change it direct. And then for a laptop, what will be the receipt routing on a purchase order? Anybody? Will it be standard or direct on a laptop? When I make a PO for the laptop, will it be direct or standard? Anybody? <laughs> so if direct, direct, PO. direct only because in the laptop you are not given any receipt routing on the item level. Yeah. So only the what happened, the receiving parameter only will be defaulted. So default. Now the approval is now going for a change order one. Hmm. The approval is now going on. The change is happening actually. If you click on submit, what happened, the change is now. So it will not take some time. It'll not take some time. Okay? Click on it. Now go to the manage orders and then query for it now. And then go there. So it's what two zero four. No, the requisition number is what two zero four two nine seven. And then click on search. It now takes time. The I icon is coming till the change is happening. Right as of now, what will be the receipt routing of the order? 
direct or standard? Standard. Standard, standard only. Because standard one, only. A icon goes away, then only it will become direct. Yes, yes. It is under the chain, no? fine. Till the mm. change happens, the original one will be in vogue, actually. Yep. Yeah. But it's not fine. The original one will be okay. Anybody can say yes to me that you understood. Yes, sir. What about others? Nobody is speaking me. Sangeeta. Yes, Have you understood it? Is it clear now? Speaking, speaking. Yes, sir. <laughs> She's speaking. Huh? Yes. She's speaking from the what about the will, I think. I'm not able to hear it. Now I'm able to hear it. So now I icon is gone now. Now this mm. guy can very well receive it. So go there. So you will not go there. You will not make a search. No, fine. Click on search, it will be visible. Because you know, now it's visible, fine. Click on it and then click on receive. Receive it and then click on the show receive. Come on, it's no good. Please, there, fine. Click on submit. Now receiving it. So the three disk stops have been received now, 4002. Now he felt that one of the receive, one of the things is what uh, uh, wrong actually. Or rather, he has received only two now, fine. Click on it. You're not going to make a change now, fine. Click on it. You will not perform it, fine. Click on the manage receipts. And then here, what happens? 4002 is the receipt number. So click on search. There is a small correction of the quantity. You know, you're not going to correct it actually. It is not three, it is 2.8. That is not considered as a result. Fine, just for correction. Fine, click on correct. You're not going to correct it. Fine, click on correct it. So you're not received three. You know, say only 2.9 has been received. So you can very well, what happens, the perform a correction. And then the supplier will be paid only for 2.9 and then not for three. Don't uh, apply any logic on fine. Just to show a correct. So correction is not done. Okay. So correction is not done. So it's not done. And then he wants to say, I want to return back one now. Fine, one is now, uh, click on return. He will not return it out. Return quantity is one month. And the reason for the return, right? you know, so the damaged the components, something, and then RMA number, you know, put it. Uh, this will be used with the blue dot to track it, actually. Fine. You will now hand over uh, the Amazon or whom's over it. We will now send a courier now, fine. The courier will now hand over the number. Fine. So the self service requester can do three activities. One is what? Receive, returns, and corrections. Actually. Now, if you make a query, then one more will be eligible for a receipt. Now, fine. Click on search. Now, fine. Now, one more is eligible for it. There's one now. So, one more will be received. Fine. Go there. Click on receive. Now, fine. Click on receive. Three quantities. What happens if you click on the show receipt quantity? One is eligible for one point one is eligible for receipt. So, receiving returns and corrections are the three activities which you can do. Now. Got it now, fine. Now, you will now go for a laptop. You will now go for a laptop. Click on it. You will now go for a laptop. You are now going to shop on a laptop. So go to this place, fine, go there. I will not go to the shop and then you know, go for a laptop. So, go there. so click on this one now, fine, go there. I will not go to the laptop area and go there, click on it. I will not go to what? Uh, click on laptop. So I will not say five laptops and click on add to cart. Five laptops, I will not add it to cart, click on it. I will not review and then submit for it. Not review and then we go to submit. So go there, five is going. It is again in the Bombay residence fine. It is in the same fashion as the desktop, it will also be done. And there is no change at all. I'm not doing it actually. In a similar fashion, this is a lab access file. Got it now, right? Click on file. It is a lab access file. 204298 is a lab access. Now he is now going to shop for visiting cards. Visiting cards is a service item. Service item. You will not shop for a visiting card. Go there. So this is a lab access file. It will not get converted to P1, and then you can receive it. You will not go for the visiting card. Thank you for that. You know, go to what visiting cards. Visiting card is a service item, actually. Fine. You go there. It is on fixed prices and services. Fine. You go there. I will say click on add to card. There is only one. No, see, I am not Nayantara. He is not saying what I am not Simran. Actually. I am slightly weak in this subject. I mean, drop it down. And then the junior manager, actually. So she will not change it. So this will be reflecting as an attachment to the supplier, actually. So she has now filled up the information. Fine. Click on done. Fine. Well, awesome. And then go there, go there, click on it. I will not review it and then we will not submit for approval. So go there. Additional information is available. If you click on it, what happens? You cannot see the additional information with there. So this will be supplier will be using it for printing the visiting cards. Actually. And that will be transferred to the purchase order. So click on submit. So 204299 is now submitted for approval. Fine. Click on submit. It will be submitted for approval. So 204299. So since we have a BPA also, this will also be what happens getting. Converted into PO automatically upon auto generate. Auto generate PO. Because we have a BP also available for this. Hmm. So click on the page. I'm going to go there. The information is currently not available. Now no, wait for it. It will be getting converted to PO because we have it. So click on it. And then it the icon is becoming for approval. Huh? Still, it is pending for approval. So that is the reason. Yeah. Yeah. 
you have to wait for it. So a laptop is a whatever the lab exists for you can click on it. Click on that. It's still not coming. It's not approved. Laptop approved. Laptop. The visiting cards. Laptop is approved. Visiting card. Click on the visiting cards. Pending approval. And we have an agreement also available now. And click on hmm. it. Still pending. I'm getting prepared. So then afterwards, after the approval, then what happens? The buyer will now process it. Now is the application developer approved. Also complete. Fine. Click on done. Click on done. And then click on it. Now, while the receiver is receiving, normally he can receive, he can correct, and then he can, what happens, return. So for this service item, he can only do two. Which one he cannot do? One of the He things. cannot return. He can only correct and receive. Why? Why he cannot return? Because it is expense item. There is no quantity. <laughs> you see, let us say, I am now going to order for a one hour dance of Nayantara. And then she has not removed many clothes during dancing. So I want to return back 10 minutes. But you already enjoyed the dance. And so mm -hmm. what happens? The return is not possible on a service item. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clear? <laughs> Sangeeta, is it clear? She may yes. be angry upon me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So return on a service item is not possible. Yes. Now, we have been taken for processing. Right? The buyer is processed, the order also. Now this guy is now going to receive it. Now click on it. Two zero four two nine nine is the one. Fine, click on it. You go there. Two zero four two nine nine is the one. Two nine nine is the one. And then make a search. Now fine, click on search. You'll be able to do it. Now click on search. You go there. Click on receive. Now fine, we go to receive it. And then click on show receipt counting. So click on submit. So four zero zero three is the one. Fine, go there. You will not try to correct. Correction is possible. Four thousand three is the one. 4003 is the one. Right? So click on search. I will now make it the any time and then make a search. Any time and then make a search. No, fine. Click on search. So correction is very much possible. You are not going to correct it to what? 10 is not received, only 9 is there. You can now correct. Mm -hmm. Return is not possible. A yes, service item cannot be returned actually. So now the correction is now made. Correction is possible. You will not try to return. Right? <clears throat> we try to return. You now say cheapo. You cannot do it. Fixed you cannot return. Fixed price service purchase is possible. We'll now go for the last topic of the uh, session now, fine. That is called smart forms. Any doubts on this now, fine? So we are not done everything, fine. Uh, desktop, laptop is the lab exists, and then visiting card also we have done it. So we'll now go for the last topic of this now, is the smart forms. So we'll now go to the place, fine. So click on that. We'll now go on and create a smart form. Click on it. Can we see that uh, it's visiting cards, that uh, informational? Uh, yeah, 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 it will be there actually, fine. Uh, we have to see only on the purchase orders. Yeah. We'll go to the purchase orders. Mm -hmm. You can see on the correct receipt also, no, sir? Hmm? You can see on the correct receipt also. I don't know whether we can see it or not. I don't know. <laughs> In the receipt number, whether the uh, attachment will be there or not, I'm not sure about it. And attachment is not there at all. No, in the uh, the, no, in the supply chain. In the supply chain, it, it you can see, sir. See, now uh, he is a, what happens, a Bombay resident man. Where he can see actually. He has not only received it actually. We'll now go over there, click on it. We'll now click on the receipt number. We'll now see whether any attachment is there or not. Right? Attachment is none. So he cannot see anything at all. Only the purchase officers can see this. Only the supplier can see. But he cannot see anything at it. You transactional history, man, click on it. Now this guy cannot see anything at all. But I don't know whether he can see it or not. Right? Expand it. We'll see. So, sir, just click it. Yeah, I'm not clicking it. It's not coming now. We'll see. Whether he can see his details or not. That is right? coming, see? sir. Receive. No, no. I want to see his uh, Simran and junior manager. No. Simran and junior manager names will not be coming here. It is only it will the not come that is not coming. Here. Whereas in the purchase order, we can very well see. It. Okay. We will not go to the purchase orders. I click on it. I will not go to the oh, you know, click on it. We will not go to the manager orders. Here you can see. So two zero four. <clears throat> what is the number now? Two nine nine. Na? So click on search. Two zero four two nine nine. So that is the requisition number, no sir. No order number. Yes, sir, sir. Requisition number. So two zero four two nine nine is the one. Delete it and make a search. No, click on search. So here, if you click on the hyperlink of it, no, fine. Click on the hyperlink of it, and then there you can now see the attachment somewhere. So that will be given only to the supplier and not me. Go there. 
So I don't know what the notes and attachments of it. Click on the notes and attachments. Notes and attachments. There is a. Sir, you can see the view detail also in the uh, on the top so right side. You can see the view detail. One second, one second. You know, see the attachment. Click on the attachment. There is an attachment here. And click on it. You can know, to the supplier find that. So it is now giving you the name and the designation. The file name is on. Yes, yes. File name is come along with it. And you know, see on the view details also. You know, see that it is available. Okay. So the attachment so jump clip is not showing over here. So here, what happens? You cannot see it. That's not there. This is not possible. The view details is not possible. What is the attachment? Is then whatever is invoice. If you click on the receipt number also, we can. It will open the same. Same thing. Okay. Hmm. So on the jump clip, if you go there, you can very well see it. So this is an inbuilt intelligence. It is not showing you received and delivered. In the bottom, there is a jump clip. It is not showing you everything. It will download some attachment. We can very well download also. You know, click on the file name or yeah. you click on the file name or you We can very well uh, download it. Click on it. You know, right. so say name is okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. I got it. Now. Understood. We click on it. Okay. Now we'll go for the last part called what happens if you are smart uh, forms. Smart forms. Okay. Yes. Click on that. You we'll know, go for the last part of this. I will now go to the home icon and then we will now configure the smart form. After the break, catalog. Click on it and then here, the final one is the smart form. When you click on the smart form, I click on the smart form and then I will now create a smart form. Thank you. I am going to create a smart form. So I will now say uh, P20 point. I will now say an AMC contract. AMC contract. So I'm not going to give an AMC contract to the supplier actually. So take off it and then for the instruction test and then keywords, we you know say the AMC. This may be searchable somewhere in offline. I don't know where exactly I'm going to search it. So image URL. I'm going to take up this image URL from one of the things. Ah, you know, I'm going to take probably I'll put the image URL offline, put the appropriate one of my click on it. So the image URL is coming from there. So it is what it is not line type is not good, so it's basically. That is your fixed prices service. So it will be on a description fine. AMC contract for maintenance of 15 laptops. So uh, restrict to browsing category. I don't know. I will now put the browsing category. So the category name. I will now say so what P20. You know, say desktop or laptop or whatever it is. The amount is what? I don't know, say thousand dollars, no fine. And then it is over a period of what is it? Is it laptop for what I was one year actually. And then we are negotiating the price, and then I'm putting a negotiator. That means what? This is called a touchless buy. We are not negotiating with the supplier. Supplier is what? It is the ABC consulting. So we don't have any BPA here, and then go there, drop it off, and then load it. Go on. Phone number, everything you are now So we are now negotiating the supplier for thousand dollars. He's agreeing it. So once when the requisition is created, it will not get to it convert into PO automatically. This is called touchless buying. Actually. Called touchless buying. On it. The one only if negotiated it's safe. Negotiated tick mark is more than seven. So click on save and close now by which order the, the smart form is created. They will now add all the smart forms to the respective content zone. Yeah. So, now add everything to the content zone. Right? Click on it. I don't go to what manage content zones and then go there. I will not query for the computer content zone and then online the smart forms. So, go the public shopping, so smart forms like good action and good certain ad. So, we'll not add it. You find P20, the one always uh, name it with your number, no fine. So, that what happens, you won't be getting confused with the others. No fine. So, I'm going to second your So, click on save and close. Now, this guy can shop on the smart form also. We'll now, go to this place, thank you. We'll go here. Right, you know, go there. So click on the main one and then he is now going to shop. Right? Click on the on a smart form, he is going to shop. So here, what happens? You can now see in the bottom fine, I had to load and login. Fine, uh, no, load and login because it may not be visible here. I might click on the bottom. Okay. Go to the picture one and then here go to the shop. So whenever you're going via punch outs, it is getting auto converted into PO without even a BPA presence. So probably Oracle might have configured the punch outs from the suppliers are getting auto converted into PO. 
Whereas for the desktop or laptop on visiting cards, we have a BPA because of which it got converted. Actually. And then the buyer name on the configure procurement business function is a must for auto conversion. Actually. PR to PO conversion automatic, the buyer name is a must. Actually. And then for this thing now, fine. Uh, we have what happens? The request forms is nothing but a, is this one. The request form is nothing but your smart forms. Actually. Now you go to what happens? The shop on the smart forms. Actually. So you will not click on it. You will not shop on it. <clears throat> so you will not clicking on it. And then go there. Everything is okay. If you want any add, any attachment, you will not see the attachment. You will not say what you have to maintain now on the desktop. Right? Apart from the item description, you will not say that whenever the battery is defective, what happens? We will not pay for the battery, but you only have to go and then buy in the market. And then if uh, RAM is defective, what happens? You have to repair it. Something like that. You will not attach as an attachment. And then add to cart. Got it now fine. The AMC counter, the smart form, you will not add to If any value addition is there on the basic template, you will not add it. Otherwise, you will not add to cart. It gets added. And then upon what happens, the submission, it will be getting converted into what happens, go to the review. With, because the, the requester himself has negotiated the price, actually. The price is negotiated. And then upon submission, what happens, the 204330 will be getting auto converted into PO because there is no negotiated. This is called touchless buying, actually. It will be touchless buying. And that is the last topic. So with this, what happens, we complete SSP now. How do you find it? What, sir? There is local catalog. Local oh. catalog, information catalog, and then punch out catalogs are the three ones. Local information and punch out, we are now seeing local information also we are seeing. And then punch out also, punch out, I don't know how to configure it actually. Usually nobody is, I mean, I have not seen punch out at any or. Yeah, yeah. Is there? Punch outs are there. Why not? Maybe it's configured by Oracle, but yeah, I no, no. When any... you go to the field, how Oracle will come? You only your your technical team uh -huh. will now configure the XML gateway actually. Okay, the okay. The technical team has one. Now the IA icon is coming because it is now negotiated. The price is negotiated yeah. with the requester himself. Fine. So what happens? No configured. And then click on the file. So two zero four three zero zero. It will now get converted into PO automatically. The PO will be not coming. Now, what you go there, you will not receive it now. Right? Click on it, you will not go to the main results, and then receive it. 204300, and then make it at any time, and then do it. Again. You will receive it. That's it. Click on receive, and then complete the result. <clears throat> Show receipt quantity, no showing it also. So, he has now received for 1000 thousand rupees. Now, fine. the amount is $1000, it will be converted into quantity. Actually. Quantity. So the amount which is there in the PO will be converted to quantity and then click on submit by which whatever you are That is he has now given the service only for something. Then you will now release only 800 quantities and not 1,000 quantities. So you will be paid only for 800. So this completes SSP now. Yes. If you like it, can you put a green tick mark? My coverage. 100%, sir. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Okay. Arvind also had a sound. Great, thank you. Fine. So, there is, uh, I, I found one thing like, uh, you know, if, if you created a local catalog mm. and there are two buttons coming, what you have shown, like add to cart and add to shopping list. Yeah. So without creating procurement catalog also, if you directly click on add to shopping list, the shopping list appears. Oh, okay. without... you can even give a name and then do it also. Yes. Huh. I mean, no need. For the shopping list, whatever. Yeah, yeah, very correct. For a shopping list, what happens? The procurement catalog is not required. Yes, very correct. Yeah. yeah. Procurement catalog is not required, actually. Procurement catalog will be required for what you have to, for a public Globally. shopping list. When you want to do it, what happens? You have to have it. Yes. So if you, if for you want to make it for only, all... you need it. Not for uh, local local shopping list is oh, okay. Shopping okay. list, we must have a procurement catalog. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. Public shopping list. Mm -hmm. I know, know. Yes, sir. Are you clear now? Yes, sir. A bit. <laughs> you have to mm -hmm. watch the record. Yeah. That's correct. Public shopping list, procurement contract, local shopping list, no catalog. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Okay. Local shopping list, uh, we can mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Victor, how good it is now. Right? 
today i lost it sir actually uh-huh. <laughs> you have to watch all the records no and then only what must be clear for you man watch it and then do it you need you have got so much of a topics has got accumulated and then you have to practice no and when our time permits keep on practicing and then take notes and then very very important like so we have now completed the self service procurement next saturday we are going to begin our sourcing now yeah sourcing will begin on next saturday actually done sir what is sourcing sourcing uh, what happens is there will be so many suppliers are there so we are going to get the quotation from very many suppliers and then see who is the best actually before we convert them into a purchase oh sourcing okay. so yeah we are going to source from very many suppliers for a big project basically thank you nuna so we'll now meet at 6 pm on next session will be cover under this sir yeah 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 negotiation will also be coming in the same time uh-huh. all right sir sourcing will now create a negotiation actually no sense okay so next saturday at 6 pm we will now be continue on this no friend sure sir that is the sixth there are seven topics are planned actually mm. that is the sixth topic of our plan actually okay bye now and then we'll meet bye, sir. bye sir thank you saturday sir. thank you thank you sir see you thank around. you sir good night thank sir. you bye. everybody bye. Good night. yeah thank, thank you everyone bye take care bye 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 everyone thank bye. you sir bye sir thank you bye all of you